This is not the first time that fuel prices have gone up this year. The last time it happened, it incurred the wrath of commercial drivers across the country who embarked on a protest demanding a reduction in the price of fuel. Although most of the drivers took part in the protest, it failed to yield the desired results. The price of fuel went up again on Tuesday and, once again, public transport drivers are unhappy about the development. The NPA explains that the current increment is as a result of the reintroduction of the price stabilization and recovery levy. The levy was suspended last year as part of efforts to cushion consumers from the constant rise in the price of fuel products in the country. However, leadership of the GPRTU says this increment is not in the interest of their members. The fares that we charge are the same, and yet we are buying more fuel. And so it's affecting us. Sometimes at the close of the day, when you take out the cost of fuel from your sales, you even can't get your daily sales. And if you cannot get your daily sales, and so how do you get top money to your house? So it's really affecting us. But because um, the government has pleaded with us to remain calm until the negotiations are completed. There's nothing we can do. Some of the drivers also accused the government of being insensitive to their plight. First, if I buy 100 cities, I can take and work and close. By now, if I buy 100 cities, unless 200 cities. So by if you talk, it will not go and end anywhere. So we just keep quiet. The uh, GPR too. Uh, our bosses, you see, they should have to talk about about it. But we, when we talk, it doesn't end anywhere. Uh -huh. So we don't know how to do now. And deeper to boss, too, they don't mind us because if something, uh, they are our boss. Uh -huh. Our boss, them they here, and some day to uh, uh, regional. National, though they are big men. You see, if they don't talk, we don't know why, why, what to say. Uh -huh. Now, it's affecting a lot. If we are talking, the government he didn't listen to us. So, me, Stephen, I didn't beg the government. If you like, if you take the diesel fuel to 100 Ghana, we buy it. Only God will listen to the drivers. But now, I, I just. Uh, I want to talk to our 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 DPRTU. Say that we are begging him to try to uh, find some small money to the uh, our fare. Because now, if you if you work out, the money all buy for design. We didn't get anything. Police too, they, they worry us. So they beg the DPRTU executive to come in. At least if we find some small money on it, uh, then we too. We, we, I appreciate it. The drivers are calling on the government and the GPRTU to urgently reduce the fuel prices. Reporting for City News, my name is Nashika Caesar.